In this video, we are discussing SQL versus NoSQL. SQL stands for Structured Query Language and NoSQL stands for not only SQL. So, what are the differences between them? Let us discuss on them. So, at first we are having one comparison table that is the SQL versus NoSQL. So, in case of SQL, we are having this point that is SQL is generally used for RDBMS that is a Relational Database Management System. We know that in case of relational database management system, the database will be having multiple tables and tables will have a fixed static structure and tables will have multiple number of rows and columns and each and every row will be known as a record or tuple and columns will be denoting the fields or attributes of the tuple. So, this is the basic concept in our RDBMS. But on the other hand, in case of NoSQL, where having this NoSQL is used for non-relational and distributed database system. So, here we can, we are having the concept of global data. So, as a result of that, as this NoSQL database will be the global data, so from different locations, it can easily be accessed. Next one is the structured data can be stored in the tables. So, in case of uh, SQL, we can only keep the structured data, but in case of NoSQL, so using JSON data, unstructured data can be stored there. So, unstructured, semi-structured and structured data, all kind of data can be stored in NoSQL. The schemas are static. So, here we cannot have the variability in the schemas, but in this case, the schemas are dynamic. We know that the NoSQL databases, in case of MongoDB at least, we are having this, the MongoDB is actually a cross-platform and document oriented database. And in this case, a database will have collections and collections will have multiple documents and those documents may have variable structure. Schemas are rigid and bound to relationships and in this case, the schemas are non-rigid and they are flexible. So, in this case, what will happen between the two tables, some common columns might be there and through those column values, the two tables will have some relationship. So, helpful to design complex queries, but in case of NoSQL, no interface to prepare the complex queries. So, these are the differences between the SQL and the NoSQL. So, just consider this one. This is our SQL database. We can represent one SQL database that is a relational database in the forms of tables and tables will have multiple rows and columns. So, we are having multiple rows and columns are there. Each and every row is known as a tuple or tuple or record and these columns are known as a respective attributes, attribute values are there. So, in case of, in case of NoSQL databases, this table will be known as a collection and the collection will have multiple documents and documents will be represented in the form of key value pair. So, against one key, we can have a single value or multiple values. So, key value pairs will be there. So, here we are talking about the fields and attributes and here the same thing will be known as the column. So, this is the column family we are having. So, now in case of document oriented database, in case of NoSQL databases, we are having the documents and a document can contain other sub documents. There is a nested documents under it. So, that is why we are having this hierarchical diagram for these documents. So, these are the basic differences between the SQL databases and the NoSQL databases. Thanks for watching this video.